Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as you can see from the title or the thumbnail, I am going to be sharing my bi-weekly paycheck budget, and I'm going to be telling you guys how I'm allocating my $850, which you guys already know I am on low income. So this is how I am allocating my paycheck. So rent is going to get 340. So I'm looking down because I wrote in my planner, I'm trying to make these videos way better, but I'm trying to figure out ways on how to do this room and it's not working out the way I want to, but it's going to come soon. So my cell phone is going to get $90. I am by the window guys and there's a bunch of kids outside and they're like 10, 12 years old cursing up a storm, saying the D word, the F word, the B word. It is crazy, but that's none of my business. But just in case you guys hear it, I am by the window. MTA is going to get $66. Chase Flex is going to get $66. Apple Credit Card is going to get $73. And this time, actually guys, I forgot to I forgot to allocate money towards my Apple Credit Card in my last paycheck. But luckily, I did put $73, which I don't understand how I did that, but I put $73 in my paycheck that I got paid I think last month, the three paychecks that we got the last paycheck I did put away $73 which was weird but whatever I had it there so thankfully I didn't have to go and search on how I was gonna do the other half of the Apple credit card so Amazon credit card um, I did pay $40 to that credit card due to the fact that I bought something off Amazon groceries is $150 I already spent $50 out of those grocery so I only have $100 left buffer is $25 so that is a complete of $850. So that is a zero base budget, guys. Zero base budget. So I don't know if I told you, but this paycheck goes from September 27th to October 10th. And this has to last me. And it's crazy because I just found out that I think we're going, people are going on a strike, which shelves are being empty. The water shelf is being empty. And I'm like, did I miss something? That's because I don't watch the news, guys. I don't watch the news, but let me share with you guys on um, this binder here. And let me show you. I still have the $50 here for buffer, but for these $50, I'm going to be paying $40 towards Chase. Cause with everything that's going on guys out here in this world, um, I gotta get that Chase out the way because I need to boost up my grocery um, amount because things are gonna get crazy out here. So $40 to Chase, and then $5 is gonna go towards clothing, which I'm gonna just show you guys right here. And then the other $5 is gonna go towards enjoy life because we gotta enjoy our life while we are paying off debt. I don't know what I'm going to do with this money. This money probably just sit here, to be honest with you. And if I see it sitting here for too long, I will put it towards the credit card, okay? Or if I need to dip in it for something else or for food or for anything, I will touch this money. So that is going to that. Um, I actually have money in my envelope, which... I'm surprised, look, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I got $14, guys. So if you guys have fetch, or if you guys don't have fetch, my link will be in the description below. You get points, I get points for you signing up, and when you scan your first receipt, that's when we get the, the points. Um, it's free, totally free to sign up. You sign any, listen, I scan any receipt. I see a receipt, I'm scanning. I be in Dunkin' Donuts, and they be having like the receipts on the table. I, I scanned that receipt. So right now I'm at 86,000 and I'm going to be using 80,000 out of that, which is $80 because I want to buy me some clothes and I'm going to buy it online. So I'm going to redeem it for a Visa gift, gift card. So yeah, guys, so that is where my $850 is going. And like I said, I am just a tad bit nervous because my emergency fund is not even up there. And for what I heard today, which I'm going to do more, I'm going to read on it more so I could, you know, know more about it, about this strike that we're about to have or we are having or whatever is whatever's going on. Um, 
I kind of want to probably rearrange some things or I don't know. Listen, I don't watch the news. I just listen to what other people tell me or what they see on the news. All I know is that I got a text and they was like, hey, do you know that we're going on strike? And I'm like, strike for what? And it's like, they're not going to be working. They're asking for a raise. And I think $69 for a raise, like, you already getting like 30 something dollars. Like, really? But listen, to each his own, but damn, like, I say give them the raise. But that means everything is going to go up. Food is going to go up. Everything is going to go up. So I don't really know how I feel about that. So if you guys know anything about that, please leave it in the comments. Let's talk about it in the comments because I got to go read because I need to find out what's going to happen. But with that being said, guys, that's how I am allocating my paycheck. It's not much because I have to pay... This, these two credit cards off in the student loans. So, and I know you guys are probably like, there she go again with the student loans and the credit cards, but that's my life right now. So, I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy this video. If you guys got to the end, leave me a dollar sign down below. Don't mind me, guys. I'm tired. I just came home from work and I, got, I don't know what happened here, but until next time, guys, I see you in my next video.